We've had a lake effect snow band sitting over Soldier Field since about 9 this morning, and it's not supposed to budge anytime soon. The good news, the folks don't seem to mind here in Chicago. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the New Orleans Saints and the Chicago Bears. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Fields on first down. Swings this out here for Cohen. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. They will run for the first time with David Montgomery. Fights him off. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now it's Fields. Open man is Komet, the tight end. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Here's Fields. Being chased out left. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Cohen. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. Fields throw put in by Robinson here. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. And he's brought down. No score after one on EA Sports. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Now Fields, flushed out right. Touchdown, Bears! Cole Komet, excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Bears take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. Callaway, the return man. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Jameis to throw it. Eluding the pressure right. Here as he's taken down. It's Khalil Mack that time shooting in there to get him to the ground. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Forced out to his left. He's got his all-pro receiver, Michael Thomas. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder coming up at halftime while the 
two of us head for warmer areas of the press box. We'll be sending you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half. Looking long for Thomas. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. And he'll get this back across the midfield, striping down the 47 yard line. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7 zip, you would think they might be a little extra. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Give the sack to David Anyamata, the product of Nigeria by way of Canada. After the sack on first down, Fields, the screen pass here to Cohen. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Flush to his right. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up the first down. So now on defense, you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going. And the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. To throw his fields. Escaping the pressure right. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields. A five-yard touchdown run as the Bears push further out in front. Santos with the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. So the drive there took six plays, and it was all capped off by the Justin Fields touchdown run. He took it in himself. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. Callaway, the return man. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And a nifty return there all the way across the 40. Any return to get you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. And the Saints going to go on offense one final time in this first half. And with decent starting field position, there may be only a couple completions away from field goal range. Buying time to his left. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home. And they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync. Only way to play good defense. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise, and start to put together some drives. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. The lake effect snow is set to continue for the second half of action as we are back underway. Callaway, the return man. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves. But for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting more pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. On the ground, Kamara. He's got the first down inside the 10. And did he get in? No, down at the one-yard line. 
68 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries in the ball game. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's Winston. Touchdown, Saints! Adam Troutman from a yard out. And the Saints are back within a score. Now Sean Payton going to say, let's go for two on this one. They'll turn to Kamara, and he'll get in for the two points, and that'll cut the deficit down to just a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feel great about themselves. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. Dancing to his left. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. And the Saints are gonna take possession here at their own 16-yard line. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. From the 22, Winston. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Akeem Hicks, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Winston now. Flushed out right. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Steps away to his left. Less than two to play with just a field goal separating these two sides. Well, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Eluding the pressure right. A throw over the middle, taken in by Troutman. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big connection on that one. 31 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here's second and 10. Winston. Flush to his right. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. 
Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And everybody thinking about the possible field goal on fourth. It would be 58 yards from here. Now Winston. They'll get this out to Camara. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 14 yards, but they're still well shy of a first as that leads to fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to tie things up in the final minute. And Lutz's kick is good. And that will tie this game here in the final minute of play. So a big kick to get this back to even. And now the worry is, did you leave too much time on the clock? Because another field goal the other way, that does you in. You're exactly right. You didn't get into overtime yet. So now as a defense, you've got to think to yourself, you can't play prevent defense and just give up big chunks of yardage in front of you. But you also can't let anyone behind you. So you sit right on the line between the two, play the best defense you can, and not make it easy for them to move the ball downfield. Here comes Justin Fields and the rest of the Bears' offense. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. A play fake, now Fields to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Going to let one fly for Robinson. It's caught inside the 25. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. A give. This is Montgomery. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person is on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. That's what's happening to the game. And he's in for the touchdown. And in the final seconds, forget overtime. They just likely won this thing in regulation. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come and have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Now after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense and making an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster. It's that guy that's short of the yep. end zone who comes up and ends up making the play because he goes unguarded. So there's a lot to think about if you're playing defense in this situation. We'll see if they can cover all their bases. Now one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair.